everybody, it's Faith with the Story of Sacred Stars, and I'm here, yeah, to do a spirit-led painting. Um, I've already got everything set up here. I've got my watercolor paper uh, taped to my board here. I've got my brushes. I've also got my little palette here that I'm going to blend the colors on. Um, I've got my watercolors off to the side here. Um, off screen, I have my ancestors candle lit, as well as whisper a prayer to the ancestors. I also have, this is a leftover um, chime candle that I had lit that was white for clarity during a spirit led painting I did last time, uh, which I think was for my mom, actually for her birthday. Um, either way, it's still uh, carries the same energy for this practice, which was to connect with my ancestors and to paint, <laughs> um, something emotional. So I've got my water over here. I've got, um, my Chromebook set up over here just with some music. It's by BGM Maker. Um, this particular track is called Soothing Music That Seems to Start the Winter Story. Uh, very pretty and soft. So yeah, um, First things first, uh, we're just going to take a few deep breaths. Just deep centering breaths. Just whispering a prayer to the ancestors again. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting some water on my palette here. Um, this is not a tutorial so much as it is just a, hey, come hang out with me, breathe with me, paint with me if you like, but also just some insight into this new practice I've been doing, which is essentially just letting spirit and my ancestors guide me emotionally and letting myself really open up to emotions in general and just feeling all the things um whatever i'm feeling in that particular moment which can sometimes be really um great and other times not so great uh i in this moment in particular i'm just kind of feeling a bit uh anxious and insecure um, which is not new to me, but certainly not what I want to be feeling before I paint, you know? Um, but that's kind of the purpose of this, is to kind of just open myself up to all the feelings, you know, and do the thing. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. First up here, what color am I feeling I'm called to? I was feeling called um, to kind of a muddy yellow, um, kind of like a yellow ochre. I got that. In this spirit-led practice, it's more just about letting my intuition guide me. Like what, what color am I called to? Don't overthink it. Just pick it up and go from there, you know? Yeah, I'm really liking this color, actually. Oh, there's the refrigerator. Because these videos are longer than my weekly readings, I'm not gonna be turning off my refrigerator, because I feel like that's silly, so. Unfortunately for you, you just have to listen to it. Sorry. Um, I'm actually going to grab some gold to put in here. And I'm not trying to be precise about anything, so like... Oof it gets mixed in with another color, it's fine. 
that's like emotions too. Sometimes they're so complicated or intertwined that you can't always distinguish them on their own. Kind of just blend together. So that's very true to spirit also. So what else am I feeling here? Feeling like an olive green next. This greenish yellow here. Those of you who are curious, I use uh, Holbein watercolors. Um, about a year, year ago, year and a half ago, I splurged um, back when I had my full time job. I kind of splurged and Got a full set of them. One of the things that I have struggled with was um, feeling guilty for being um, able to afford things back when I was full time. Uh, and maybe being privileged enough to purchase things um, when I know a lot of people couldn't necessarily afford to buy nice watercolors or nice tarot decks or etc. Um, now that I'm part-time and I have these things, uh, one of the things I've wrestled with is trying to like recognize my privilege without feeling shame, um, which is a very dangerous path. Um, the problem with, with shame in that setting is that then you start to like resent people and that is not okay. Um, so I've just added a hint of shadow green to this. I really like that vibe that we have going on here. So yeah, shame, uh, according to Brene Brown, and I quite agree is kind of a useless emotion. Um, if nothing else, it proves, goes to prove that, uh, we have something we can work on. Something we need to unpack, potentially. Um, we've got our shadow green here. I'm actually thinking a, a bit of a lighter green now. I've got a leaf green here that's really pretty. So I'm going to grab onto that. Really bright neon. So pretty. And something a little less muddy and dark just kind of to contrast is what I'm feeling here not that there's anything wrong with darkness sometimes it seems a bit more potent if it has something lighter to to kind of stand up against I'd like to deepen it a bit with them. Um, I've got some emerald here that looks really pretty. Here it is. Emerald Green Nova is what this color is called. Oh yeah, that's that's really nice. I like that. Not too much. In fact, I might add some more leaf green to it. There we go. That's the color I want. That's the color I'm feeling. Finally, finally, finally. What am I sensing here? What am I sensing? I imagine that some of these videos will probably turn into like me being a rambling witch. Um, Kelly Maddox kind of coined that phrase and, and it, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oh, I'm sensing blue here. I'm sensing a blue, like a bright, bright blue, like viridian blue. That's, that's uh, vertiture blue, excuse me. Some of that. Hmm. 
and see where it takes us. Ooh, I like that. But like the leaf green, I think I'm gonna deepen it up with something here. Um, maybe Prussian blue, I think. Let's check that. Add a bit of Prussian blue to it. Mm, I like that. Yes, 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 yes. It's still light, but not so light that it uh, gets buried beneath everything else. I think we're about ready to begin here. I'm gonna move this out of the frame. I'm gonna go ahead and just wet this down a little bit. Past experience has taught me I don't need as much as I normally put on here. Kitty. There's Mazzino. Has a pinion. I was wondering when he'd get up from his nap and start to wonder where I was. <laughs> Alrighty. So which color are we starting with? I'm actually thinking leaf green. Let's start with leaf green. Oh, I know. I'm in here without you. You hate it. Okay. So for this, this process, I really do just let spirit guide. <sighs> Deep breath. Just a dabbing motion. And honestly, there's no rhyme or reason to this. I can't tell you why I chose a dabbing motion. It just seemed to look nice. Oh man. I actually have to move my water because this is not quite working have enough room. There we go. Oh man. That was so sad. Well, he's entitled to his feelings too. Oh man. I'm not trying to make any pattern again. I'm just using intuition. Like, where do I want to put this color? Where do I feel called to put this color? Um, and that's more or less it. Like, there's no... Again, I'm sure most people want... I know for me, I, a lot of times, I want to be told how to do something. And unfortunately, this is less about being told how to do something, more about just letting yourself let go and do the thing, you know? I'm worried less about how the end result is going to look and about perfection than I am about just putting color on a, pap on a piece of paper, really. I think we're gonna go to gold here. A nice pretty gold. I'm just gonna start dabbing it where we see fit. Again, not caring if it mixes. In fact, if it does, that's great. I went to the dentist this morning and he is just so done with me. Like, why can't you have just like stayed home, slept in with me? Like, why you gotta be this way, mom? Can't, can't handle it. I think that's enough of gold there. Mm -hmm. 
let's go in with our shadow green here. Kind of muddy green. I'm gonna start, I think I'll just start here. I do hum along to the music, <laughs> for better or for worse. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling called to just kind of spread this all over. Again, this music is by BGM Maker. Find them on YouTube, show them some love. They gave me permission to use their music while I paint in my videos, as long as I credit them. And they're just, always have such soft, beautiful music. Highly recommend. I like that. Let's just leave that alone. Sorry for shaking the camera there. And uh, I guess we're gonna do our shock of blue here. Be a bit shocking. Prussian verditer blue. Oh, where's this gonna go? Again, not caring if things mix, just kind of letting it go. That's one of the lovely things about watercolor is it's so easy to just <sighs> It's a lovely thing to help you learn how to not care about perfection as much, you know? It really is a lovely teacher very hanged ban energy, you know? And uh, I think we're done. That's the other nice thing about spirit lead painting is that you know when it's finished. And I was just told that it's finished. Done. Deep exercise and just learning how to listen to the energy within you, the energy around you however you want to quantify spirit, really. This is lovely. I'm, whew. Oh, Zeno. My therapist always, I mean, she does art therapy also. And one of the things that she suggests after painting a picture like this is kind of opening up a dialogue between you and the painting, um, just allowing it to speak to you and allowing yourself to answer or asking, the question, what does it say? What does it say to you? If this were your ancestors and this was their means of communication with you, how would you interpret it? It's so funny because one of the the very first one I did of this made me think of like a river and this doesn't give me river vibes. This gives me more like like you're in the middle of a forest and you've come upon a swamp and you are in probably the darkest part of the forest but a shaft of light has just come through the canopy and is just cascading over the murky water. I really like that. I'm not sure what that says. I'm not sure what the message is in all of that, but that's the image that I conjure, right? Anyways, I'm gonna let you go and I'm gonna take care of my cat and give him a lot of pets. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you all have a lovely day. I'd be curious to hear what you think. Take care. <laughs>